It's Owen Gaither. O W E N G A I G H E R. And it's Sunday morning, around almost 7 o'clock in the morning. Tell us what last night was like. How many people were here, and was there any uh, interaction with police? I mean, I would say from any given time between 85 and 120. It fluctuated a little bit, and um, there was really no running with the police. So, <coughs> and we're in front of her sits and parks on the sidewalk. Is this? Why do you think this is something the police have said that if you stay here, that that's not the issue? I mean, kind of, yeah. Um, it's kind of weird that they have us in front of a sidewalk where, like, there's so many cars going by. And it, in my opinion, it's kind of a dangerous thing because it would take one drunk driver to actually cause a tragedy, to tell you the truth. And it's almost like it's kind of a pin, but they are, like, not messing with us. They are keeping their distance as long as we comply, which we've been going out of our way to comply to everything. Keeping four feet clear, um, keeping off the sidewalks, making sure everyone has room to pass and everything like that. So, I mean, it's kind of a give and take, and that's the approach we've been taking so far. My final question is, um, why is everyone getting roused? It's about seven. You're waking people up like that. Because um, we kind of have, when the sun comes up, we kind of have to have everything cleaned up. But again, part of the compliance, we've been trying to comply as much as we can because eventually we'd like a place to occupy for obvious reasons. And um, we're trying to use this as part of our uh, as part of our strategy, you know, to, to let people know it's all nonviolent. We're trying to comply, but we are trying to do, show dissatisfaction. It's one thing that we all have in common for sure is dissatisfaction with the way things are going. So we can do it lawfully and nonviolent and we're in compliance and hopefully we get met at least halfway. Thank you, sir. I didn't say they